What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fly the DJI Neo with an AR glasses. Now if you also happen to have the Extra Beam Pro, I'm going to show you how you can connect it and enjoy an immersive view. If you don't have the uh, Extra Beam Pro or Extra Air glasses, it doesn't matter because this method will work with pretty much any AR glasses out there. So Vitro ones, Ray Neo, Rokade, it doesn't really matter. They'll all work the same. I'm going to get behind the camera and show you guys the few ways you can connect this and enjoy a first person view. Okay. The first and easiest way is simply to uh, use the DJI RC2 controller. You're basically going to turn it on, you know, connect your DJI Neo or pretty much any drone for that matter. And then take the other end of your AR glasses, this part right here, and connect it to the bottom. So I'm going to turn on my DJI Neo right now. Put your glasses on. First you want to make, oh, okay. As you can see, the Neo is connected to the controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Neo down for now. Uh, here, on the ground. Okay. All right. So you're pretty much all AR glasses nowadays, um, I don't know any single AR glasses that doesn't come in with a USB Type-C, but if yours come with a Type-C, which almost every one of them are, I mean every one of them do, you just simply plug it into this port right here. And whatever it's on this image, on this display right here, is going to be showing in the glasses in this part right here. So plug it in. You're not going to get anything from here at all. It's going to take a second. Stage of altitude zone. Okay. So, point updated. All right. So now I can see the, the display of the Neo straight in my glasses. Let me see if I can show it to you. Actually, uh, yeah, let me see if I can show it to you guys. Hopefully you guys can see it. You see, it? that's the that's the display of the Neo right there in the glasses. Now to make this even better, typically, uh, if you have the Pro, if you have the extra uh, extra Air Pro, you can simply press uh, a button right here, and it's gonna turn this uh, glasses dark. If you don't have the uh, Pro or your AR glasses doesn't have the ability to turn it dark you want to use something like this. Pretty much all of them are gonna come with something like this. So Xtreo comes with something like this, this one right here, you put it on, or you can buy something like this on Etsy. Uh, you just simply put it on it. Now I broke this part, but it still works. I bought this because I, I lost my first uh, version of these in Mexico, but then I got the Xtreo Air 2s. But if you don't have that, you can just simply buy one of these on Etsy. But since I have this, I'm simply just going to put it on it and make it darker. So now the display is going to be, this part right here is going to be darker. That way the display is going to be much clearer. But at the same time, I'm still going to have the ability to look at my drone. Let me uh, carry the drone and you guys will see. You see that? It's really hard to show. But you guys see it? That's basically what my drone is seeing. Now I'm going to uh, do a small flight. That way you guys can see it. Actually, let me put the glasses on first. Woo! The display is crystal clear. So to fly the Neo, you simply just and you just raise it up and now I don't even need to hey shut up shut up shut up sit 
sit. And now, basically, I can see the drone in first person view. Okay, now I'm recording. Uh, there I am right there. And there goes my dog going crazy. <laughs> but I love this because it's it feels like I'm flying FPV except I don't get the you know the different uh those I don't know what they call is I think they're called pan and yaw or something like that. I don't get that and I definitely need uh ND filters. That way I can get good motion blurs. But yeah, that's basically one way you can fly the drone. So the second way to fly this DJI Neo is uh, using the x Beam Pro. I have a case on it right now. Is to first you want to download the DJI Fly app because you're going to have to do that. That way you can open it in, uh, in the Nebula OS. You click on it. Once you click on it, the goal is to now connect to the uh, DJI Neo. Now the thing is, once you are connected via the DJI Fly app, you cannot control the drone via the controller anymore. So you have to use a touch display, which is a bummer because you know it would be nice if you have that uh, three dove while using the controller, you know, but. You don't have that option, so we're going to click on connect. And it's connecting to the drone. It says, got it, skip, skip. And now, whatever the, the drone sees, I can see on my glasses, right? I mean, I can see on my uh, phone, on my Beam Pro. The next step is to simply now connect the extra air to the uh, device, to the Beam Pro. Now, once you connect it, Nebula OS is gonna open up, but whatever app is on that was on here will now open up when you open uh, Nebula OS. So now I have a full view of the drone whatever the drone sees I can pretty much see but in 3 delf so I'm gonna show you uh, show this to you again so if you look in the glasses actually this is going to be harder to show than I expected. Man, this is hard. Okay. So, you guys can see, right? Man, this is hard. Much harder than I expected. <laughs> but, um, man, I don't even know how to show this to you guys. I thought I would be able to do it, but I can't I can't really show it to you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a screen recording. Uh that way you guys can see exactly what I see. I wanted to show you guys this the second method, but I can't because um there are some kids uh playing football right now. They're they're about to practice. So uh, it's not ideal for me to take the drone up and fly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside and basically show you guys what the step is. But basically whatever you see on your extra beam pro display right here 
is going to be projected into your glasses but unlike the method of connecting to your controller you're going to have three duff in your glasses the downside is that you're not going to be able to use uh, a controller you would have to control it with the phone which you know it's not really you're going to have to do manual control which is not the ideal method you know what i'm saying the best way absolutely is using the controller but uh yeah thank you guys for watching i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one i got a lot more stuff on the neo coming up so stay tuned thank you guys peace